Greetings peeps and uh, <laughs> welcome once again. Uh, just a, a little brief update on me. Uh, as I said in my email to you, um, it appears that I had a small heart attack a few weeks ago. Um, but as it turns out, uh, everything's fine. I had a stress test uh, today, in fact, and it is not showing any blockages. So really good news. Um, I'm very happy about it. Um, so, you know, we'll just go on as though everything's fine. Um, I don't anticipate any further health issues, but this is something that we just don't know. So I appreciate everyone's patience and I also appreciate all of the well wishes. Thank you very much. Um, so on to other things. Because we are not going to be doing uh, the podcasts, which again, I'm terribly sorry about that, but it just simply was not possible under the circumstances. Um, I've decided to do a little bit of a different project for you. Some way for us to incorporate music into our experience. And uh, so what I have decided to do is to let you view a section of a previous podcast performance. This is something that happened uh, or something that was was done a couple of years ago. Now the interview process will not take place so you don't need to ask questions of the artists but the um, what will happen is I'm going to ask you to relate what you hear and see to various works of art that you find in our online text and I will have all of that spelled out for you as to where these are and how I want you to relate them. So immediately following this brief lecture, um, you don't have to do anything. It's going to come right up for you. You can simply watch these works and then uh, you can uh, view the artwork um, that I'm referring to on our online text. And again, I will send all of this out to you in an email. Uh, and I will also post it on our e-learning homepage, so you'll find it there as well. Um, again, all you have to do is uh, answer with what do you think type of answers. And this is actually quite simpler than the podcast interviews, uh, and it's not going to take up as much time. So uh, no, no major stress here, folks. I realize it's you know two weeks now, I think, until the end of the semester. We're all good. It's not, it's not going to be that detrimental. But um, at least this will give you uh, some type of musical experience outside of our text and uh, enable us to incorporate music as a, a work of art. Now, here's the lecture part. Um, so uh, a lot of people um, have an interpretation of what a work of art is. And we actually discussed this right at the beginning of our of our text. And you had to write a little bit about what you consider to be a work of art and uh, what it means to be a critic of the arts, things like that. So when we talk about um, various forms of art and various mediums of art, obviously there's things like painting and sculpture uh, that we've looked at. There's architecture, there, you know, even in even within those mediums, there's subgenre, right? There's in painting, there's sketching, there's there's oil, there's pastel, there's watercolors, all different kinds of of what we might refer to as art. Um, and we could also, you know, take that beyond into the realm of things like sculpture. And we could also look at um, you know, completely a different spectrum through the lens of theater and dance. Uh, so, um, and yes, even when we look at film, we're looking at what many consider works of art, which I think is, is, is absolutely true. Um, and music is nonetheless considered to be an art form or a work of art. So uh, what I'd like you to do is to watch these, um, these two clips. There's, there's two clips. One of them is of the Delta College Chamber Choir performing a work from the uh, Renaissance uh, era. And then uh, the second clip 
is of a uh, all-male uh, vocal ensemble called uh, Viri Sancti Cantores, which is, um, uh, again, a, a men's uh, vocal ensemble, but they're doing uh, an arrangement of a Gregorian chant. Now, the Gregorian chant itself, um, which is kind of an underlying melody, is from, you know, pre-medieval times. The harmonization of that chant is from our century, from the 21st century. So um, it's kind of an interesting juxtaposition between the Renaissance work of another composer and a modern work that's based upon or built upon a medieval or pre-medieval Gregorian chant. So um, I think you'll find them both beautiful works of art to listen to but also to watch, you watching the singers perform. And in the second clip, the one that, that has the work based on a Gregorian chant, there's also uh, shots of uh, the stained glass windows within the, the, the church that the, the recording was made. So I'm gonna ask you some specific questions about what you listen to, what you see, and then juxtapose those images and sounds against what you see in specific artworks found on our online text. And once again, I'll, I'll spell that out for you, the page numbers and so forth. Um, so pretty easy. And again, this is just simply what do you think type of questions. Can you draw correlations, for example, between this work of art and this performance? Uh, or maybe you don't. Maybe you don't see any correlation whatsoever. Maybe, maybe the work of art that's a painting says something completely different to you than what the work of music does, the art, work of art that happens to be a, a music, uh, musical work of art. So, um, once again, I apologize that we can't do the podcast as we normally do them. Uh, but, again, it was just unavoidable. So, I do appreciate everyone's patience and understanding. And, again, I appreciate everyone's well wishes. I think I'm going to be fine. So, uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, free to email me. Do remember that our course ends on August 15th. And that is the day when everything comes due. So, I've allowed everyone to work at their own pace. Uh, so you can turn in assignments when you wish. You can complete assignments when you wish. Uh, assignment grading will commence again very soon. So I will be grading what you've done to date. And then I, of course, will continue to grade until the end of the semester and for a day or so beyond. Because grades will need to be turned in at least a couple of days after the semester ends. But you have until the 15th to turn everything in. So, um, if you have any questions regarding the due dates, if you have any questions regarding the assignments, please do not hesitate to email me. I'm sure uh, everything's going to be great. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed uh, reading your responses uh, to questions and your, uh, your short essays. They've all been great. Uh, also, I will have one final discussion topic, which <laughs> ends up being our second discussion topic. Uh, that's a little quirky, a little bit different, um, but it also is music related. So watch for that. That'll take place over the course of the next couple of days as well. So I hope everyone is having a great summer and staying cool. It has been unusually warm lately. And uh, I appreciate uh, all of your input and uh, look forward to reading uh, your responses to the, the viewings that you're about to view. So again, stay tuned. It's just two short clips right after this and uh, that's all you're going to need. And of course, you can come back and refer to them as often as you like. Okay, folks, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon.
Gee, baby. 